So the Fabrication Lab at the School of Architecture is a center for designing through making uh, and empowering students, faculty, and staff with the tools that we have and the techniques and the materials so that they can take all of the ideas that they have that they want to make at all different scales and make them physical. So there's a lot of different ways to kind of get your hands on tools and then we hope people come back again and again to practice and to test out their prototypes and learn more about making. We have a really great system here called Maker Grounds that allows students to have reciprocity between the Fab Lab and other maker spaces that exist within UVA. So for example, uh, students could come from engineering to use some of our tools and we can send our students to use, say, maybe a water jet over in the engineering school. I, on my own, I love making things. I, can, I get the 3D software, I've had to work hard to understand that, but coming down and working with my hands using tools that I've always loved being able to use or even some that I've never known. I've been introduced to them and I use them as my de-stressor. I come here when it's at the most stressful times in the semester not to do the last minute crunch and create a model. I come here to give myself a moment of relief and that's how I get through the semesters. I have fun doing this. So you'll see students in here working with uh, organic materials like wood and grass um, and even doing things with plastics and metal, um, leveraging the various resources um, from the small water jet to the 3D printers. Last semester, uh, another faculty, Katie MacDonald, and I uh, curated and organized the Biomaterial Building Exposition here at UVA, um, which was a kind of um, a school-led initiative to kind of bring together scholars uh, working with biomaterials, novel ways of building with uh, organic-based matter. And that work was really uh, supported by the Fab Lab. We were able to use Fab Lab space to teach that course. Students were here in the Fab Lab with direct access to all the kind of tools and technology uh, and materials available in the Fab Lab to help develop this novel work. Um, there are so many resources from the CNC, the slew of, of robotic arms, um, and the 3D printers uh, that really make things possible, but Beyond the tools, we really have a great team in Melissa and Trevor and the Fab Lab crew uh, that, that allow things to happen here. So the Fab Lab at Campbell Hall is kind of the heart of what we do here, but we have a number of satellite spaces under the Fab Lab umbrella for students, faculty, and staff to use. So we have our Milton Airport, which is about a 20 minute drive away. It's an 172 acre space on the Ravana River that goes from the riparian condition to the forest condition. And it's a really great house for our landscape lab um, that we can test things out in the field. This fall, we're opening our Allied Street Research space, which is a new space for us that houses very specific research sets of tools. So we have um, a geomorphology table being built out there uh, to kind of set up large models in the landscape, as well as a large robotic arm that's on a rail um, where we can do large scale manufacturing for additive and subtractive manufacturing. I was an undergrad in the School of Architecture and I'm now a grad student. Um, and so as an undergrad, you know, the Fab Lab was a space where uh, I could come down and I, I definitely was, you know, nervous about using all the tools and sort of mastering everything and being in here. Um, but it's a super safe and supportive space. And so, you know, as far as supporting students, uh, you know, you come down here, the crew, Melissa, Trevor, like will we'll walk you through how to do things and you will do it yourself, which is a really amazing feeling and sort of a very empowering feeling for students. Students have the opportunity to gain skills in the Fab Lab by directly learning how to use the tools. So uh, here we teach them how to use everything themselves and then they go forth and explore their own ideas.